And after that tremendous senior night ceremony, we welcome you to Taft Field on the campus of Fairfield Ludlow High School. It is a special doubleheader edition of the FSN Game of the Week and the second game tonight featuring, you guessed it, the Fairfield Ludlow Falcons and the Fairfield Ward Mustangs, some boys soccer, one of the premier sports at uh, pardon, Fairfield Ludlow. And we are ready to go tonight. I'm Aiden Blank. It is a pleasure to have you with us. Hope you enjoyed the senior night ceremony. Again, a recording would, uh, of this game will be made available afterwards. You can follow us on Twitter at FSN Ludlow, and we will have the link for you. So here's the deal. Neither of these teams have played a game. Generally, when they do play, tensions are pretty heated. You do usually have two big student sections, and obviously, you get a really good game. Tonight, we can maybe get two of those things. It'll be a big game. It'll probably get very heated. Unfortunately, we don't have as many fans as we would like, but we certainly know they are tuning in and hanging with us, and we do appreciate that on this Monday night. We start off the week really, really big. Uh, some big, big matchups tonight. Both of these teams will play in the FCAC East Division. Bridgeport Central, Basic. Fairfield Prep, among others, in that division as well. We are just about set for soccer tonight. Ludlow and Ward, and this should be a fun one. You got two teams that met last year in the FCA quarterfinals. Ludlow, obviously, a very different team. Last year, the juniors, again, the juniors that are now seniors, carried a lot of that weight on their shoulders, carried a big, big load for this team, and now they're back, but as seniors, so they can really, really lead and you've got a really good matchup tonight. I know Kevin O'Hara has been really, this is a team he envisioned four years ago, and he's really built it. It started with Callum Crawford, who's been playing varsity since his freshman year, and then he's kind of built on it with names like Patrick Cotter, Timothy Marillet, Alan Robinson. It's been a tremendous job by him building this team, and now he gets a chance to see it in action. So we're just about ready for Fairfield Ludlow and Fairfield Ward here on the Falcon Sports Network. Again, we really do appreciate you joining us on this Monday night. We hope to be back either f most likely next Monday, maybe Friday, for 7-on-7 seven -seven football. Ludlow will take on Trumbull on Friday, and then they will host Fairfield Ward on Monday of next week, a game that was supposed to be played last Friday but that will be played Monday. That should be fun. I'm looking forward to 7-on-7. Seven seven. I know a lot of people have made a big stink about it. Oh, it's not football. It's not anything. Something. It's only passing, which means you're going to see some pretty acrobatic moves. Obviously, we would like to see 11-on-11 11 11 football, and there may be some news on that very soon. But for now, it's 7-on-7. Seven seven. That's all we got, and that's all we're going to get for now. It's going to be a lot of fun to watch, and uh, we're, we're sure looking forward to bringing it to you. Fairfield Ludlow and Fairfield Ward, always fun to watch. And the Falcons and Mustangs will play today. Earlier in our game, Fairfield Ludlow lost 2-0 in field hockey. But it was the start of a season. And at this point, I think a lot of these girls, a lot of those girls feel like Listen, it was we're, we're lucky to be on the field at all. We could go we could go winless this season and we'd still be happy to just have a season to play. So, and and we know the boys soccer fans feel the same way. So, we are about to go. Wow, that sounded like the stampede and it really did, but unfortunately it was not. Again, most of these fans are parents. Maybe a family friend or two, but most of these are parents and close relatives. Uh, Students not allowed tonight, and it's sad, but it's a precaution we needed to take. It's what got the kids onto the field, and we are ready to go. Ludlow and Ward, boys soccer, Fairfield Ward, and Fairfield Ludlow. Neither, see, neither team has played a game so far, so this is going to be an interesting test. Usually they play toward the end of the season, maybe even to the postseason, but tonight it's a little bit different. And we're certainly looking forward to bringing it to you. So Fairfield Ludlow, Fairfield Ward, the Mustangs, as we mentioned, winless and lossless and tieless. They have not played a game. They're coached by Justin Otavio with his assistants, Chris Lovelett, 
Phil Hudick and Michael Kennedy. And for Fairfield Ludlow, they're coached by the two-time FCAC champion Kevin O'Hara with Wayne Schraber, Jeff Swan, and Dave Pepitone. Some new names on that uh, coaching staff for Fairfield Ludlow, but one remains, and that is Kevin O'Hara, the guy who has led this team to a pair of FCAC championships, numerous playoff appearances. They've had tremendous success under his leadership. So once again, on Monday night, here at Tap Field, it is Fairfield Ludlow, it is Fairfield Ward, and we are just about set for soccer. We're looking forward to it. Here on the Falcon Sports Network. The Falcons are ready, the Mustangs are ever. Er Let's try that again. The Falcons are ready, the Mustangs are ready. James Radman will kick it off for Fairfield Ludlow. And away we go on a Monday night between the Falcons and Mustangs. The Falcons will start with possession. It's battled for around midfield. And early a whistle, possession goes to Fairfield Ludlow. These two teams have been known to get chippy. They played in the FCAC quarterfinals last year. It was the 1-8 matchup. Ludlow was the 8. Ward was the 1. And Ward came in, beat him en route to a loss in the FCAC championship game. Also made a nice little run in the, uh, the state tournament. Down the far side. Sent on net, but out. And Ward will retain possession. A minute into this game, no score yet. Still warming things up. It is a set piece for Fairfield Ludlow. First of the night, first opportunity to score. Close, and it sails wide. It was trapped by Evan Defonse, another senior this time from Fairfield Ward, and it does go out, so about a minute and a half through, Ludlow's gonna get another set piece from the opposite side. Another big chance for them to strike early. Declan Kuhn, you heard his name in the senior night ceremony. He will take it for Fairfield Ludlow. Trying to get one in on net. Through and cleared. So an early chance for Ludlow, but it is to no avail. A clear for Fairfield Ward. The Mustangs not trying to get an offensive possession of their own. It's been back and forth so far, but the Falcons with the two early opportunities. Battled for around midfield. Mustang possession just near the scorer's table. They will throw it. And they'll get the ball from about the same spot. Goes right back out. We're three minutes into this game, and Fairfield Ludlow and Fairfield Ward both scoreless. Up, near side. It'll be a Falcon free kick. Yeah. 
And now on the near side. Pushed forward around midfield. Ludlow trying to set up an offensive possession. This turf is really quick. Quicker than most in the FCAC. The ball can really zip across this turf. And we've seen it a few times. Opponents will come in here and have a tough time in the very beginning completing passes because it is a very, very fast turf. Approaching the 35-minute mark, and still no score, just about five minutes in. Very quick start to this game. Fairfield Ludlow, Fairfield Ward, and it is our FSN Game of the Week, presented by Colony Grill. Battled for around midfield, across midfield into that Ludlow offensive zone. Falcons come out in their home blues with white shorts, blue socks, white numbering. The Mustangs, their road whites with the red and ward across the front. The traditional uniforms that we have come to expect from these two teams. First touch for Michael Loya, the junior goalie for Fairfield Ludlow, and he clears it. Did he clear it well enough? Ward may get an offensive opportunity here, but Ludlow trying to charge right back up the far sideline. Nobody's really set up much of a possession yet. It's been kind of back and forth. Very much like we saw in the field hockey game earlier. Uh, sloppy. A little bit loose. Nobody's really played too much against other opponents so far. to be Mustang ball. <laughs> and a little bit of roughhousing early on. Sawyer Nessel of the Falcons. And Lucas Thompson, the junior forward for Fairfield Ward. In a little bit of a pushing fight. Obviously, things can't get too physical in the COVID era, but these two teams like to pick and prod at each other a little bit. They, they're not exactly friendly. Ludlow and Ward about eight minutes in, scoreless in our game of the week. Good save to prevent a Ludlow opportunity. We mentioned Michael Loy is in goal for Fairfield Ludlow. Chris Natt, the senior Keeper is minding the net for Fairfield Ward. So a junior versus a senior. Two upperclassmen in net so far. Remember, Ludlow had a little bit of a goalie problem two years ago. They lost a couple of their goalies and had to pull one of their guys off the field to play it. They've been able to kind of recalibrate since, no doubt. Another opportunity, another save by Nat. Inside 31 and a half to play, and we are scoreless in the first half of Ludlow Ward. Varsity Boys Soccer on FSN. 
to the near side. It is out. Thompson was chasing it, but couldn't quite get to it. Throw. It's tapped out. There's another senior, Dola McCormick. Couldn't control it. Connor off the throw in. Fighting for it. Chips it up down into the near corner. And substitutions at about the 30 minute mark, about a half an hour left to play in this first half. Inside half an hour to play now. Sent toward net. Patrick Connor was trying to keep it alive and it's poked free. Oh, that was close. A loose ball in front of the net. And a very early opportunity. But Ludlow one able to capitalize. You know it's fall when you can hear Kevin O'Hara screaming all the way from more than across the field in the press box. You know it's soccer season, you know it's fall. It, 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 it definitely feels good to be back. <laughs> Inside 29 minutes left in this first half, Fairfield Ludlow and Fairfield Ward on the Falcon Sports Network. Nestle lets it go out, he'll throw it on the near side. Wardern's positioning on the throw, but it goes right back out. Nestle again, long throw. It went out off Fairfield Ward, so it will be Falcon possession. Robinson was going to take the kick. Heard some yelling from the sideline. And instead, it's Connor with his big boot toward the net, sailing high in front, and what a save! <laughs> Diving stop by Christopher Nat. He jumped up and was able to come down with it in a sea of blue. And we remain scoreless. Twenty-seven, twenty-five left in the first half. Early opportunity for Fairfield Ward, but a nice stop. <laughs> Sawyer Nessel came in. It's been on both sides of the ball so far tonight. Came in and deflected it out of bounds. Gives Lolo a chance to set that defense for the first time tonight. Haven't really had many long ward possessions. We're kind of just starting to get into real soccer here. It was. A little bit of feeling each other out through the first few minutes and then a big opportunity with Patrick Connor shooting right at the net on that last free, but they couldn't quite get it. Now off a set piece, Loya came forward. It was a violation and Ludlow's gonna get the ball. It's a shame because Ward was about to score. You get the feeling Ward was had a very good chance of poking one through there. They had a lot of white. They were outnumbering Ludlow. And Loya was about to give himself up and leave an empty net. But Ludlow gets a little lucky. Chasing it to the near side. They kept it in. Wow. What an effort. 
by Lucas Thompson to try and keep it in, but he cannot. So as we approach the 26 minute mark, Ludlow will retain possession. It's out, 25-50 remaining, substitutions. Two of them for Fairfield Ward. Mattia Spiretta and Thomas Driscoll both called off for the Mustangs. In the air, Robinson dashes to the far, to the middle of the field rather. Marillette, nice clear. Still kind of loose. Here's a little opportunity for Malik Thomas. Although he's going to retain possession even though he fell. 25 minute mark. We are scoreless. Connor, who had a good opportunity earlier. Thomas in front, and it's just wide. Good opportunity for Malik Thomas. But it goes just wide of the net. And Ward will have a goal kick. Still scoreless in our FSN Game of the Week. This was originally going to be the Game of the Week. We added the field hockey game because we missed them on Tuesday. Their game on Tuesday had to get postponed, or game on Thursday had to get postponed today. So you get the double. But this was originally going to be our only Game of the Week. Throw coming from Nestle. Radman goes out. And we'll remain Ludlow possession. No ball boys tonight. That's something that Ludlow definitely will miss. I was talking to them before the game. They said, yeah, we'll miss it. They generally have the middle schoolers or even the JV and freshman kids come up and be ball boys for them. Good way to get involved at a very young age. Hits a couple of heads. Thomas puts it back toward net, but a little off. 23-18 left first half, and Ludlow and Ward still scoreless. Although a very promising start from Ludlow. They were promised, they were poised to be contenders for an FCAC championship this year. Unfortunately, they won't get that opportunity, and it's a shame because they could have made a very, very deep run. Not the biggest team, but a very technically proficient squad that we've seen so far. And a squad that is laced with seniors, but also has some underclassmen that show a lot of promise. And head coach Kevin O'Hara has done a very good job mixing in those proven seniors like Crawford and Rulo and Kuhn with some up-and-comers like Loya and Thomas. A lot of sophomores on this team. Maybe not a lot of playing time, but a lot of sophomores on this team. 22-15 remaining in the first. Aggressive move by Connor, and he's going to get whistled for it. A little too aggressive, but he pushes in front. Tumbles over his defender. 21.55 to go. Mustangs trying to set up a possession here. 21.40 left in this first half. Because that off Ward, it'll be Ludlow ball. Twenty-one to fifteen left in the first. 
Falcons Mustangs game of the week. These two teams will meet once again. They'll meet at Tetro Davis Field in what is sure to be a fun little game. Again, these two teams always seem to field really good squads, and in this rivalry, it's one of those where you throw the records out. Everybody kind of has their moments, and has their years. Definitely been some upsets. And there's also been some blowouts. Not usually, but there's been some. Forward. Out. It's going to be a throw from the far side for Ludlow. You get a feeling this could be one of those possessions where they steal a goal. Midway through, approaching the tail end of this first half. About 19 and a half to play. We're inside 20 minutes left. Still scoreless. One goal could decide this game. Connor with a nice long throw toward the net, and it's unfortunately going to go behind it, but a good effort by Pat Connor. So Nat will throw. No, Nat will kick. Nestle came in with his head, and it went out. So Ward ball. Moro. Radman did not touch it. Down the near sideline, and it's going to go out. In the Ludlow offensive zone. Stop by Nat. He'll clear. Out toward the Ludlow bench. And substitutions at 17.51. Out near the scorer's table. Goes right to the hands of our wonderful athletic trainer, Sydney. Forward. It's going to go out. Who's possession? It'll stay with Ward. Going to be thrown by Moro. No, they'll switch it up. Instead, they send in Alexander Correa. No, not that Correa. This is Alexander Correa. And now it's Evan Defonce. In, still very much alive toward the goal. Ludlow trying to suffocate the Ward offense there. Pushed forward. Really good rush by Zach Connor. 
brother of Pat, younger. He'll be here for a few more years. Pat is going to graduate at the end of this season. Definitely some promise for the younger Connor. Forward. Close. But no cigar. Possession stays with Fairfield Ward. 15-40 remaining in the first half. We are scoreless. Free kick and a fake out. Forward and headed away, but it's going to give Ward a set piece. More substitutions at 15 minutes left in this first. Now it's Ward's turn. Ludlow had some good offensive opportunities. Now it's the Mustangs' turn to try and put one through the net. They're going to take the corner from that far side. The junior midfielder, Eric Jara, will take it. See where it goes toward the box. Forward and just wide. Connor Shea. The senior defenseman had a good look at it, but it sailed just past his head. Ludlow, again, a little bit lucky, but they do have to stop it again. Inside 14 minutes to play, toward the net, headed forward, still loose and cleared. And what a clearance it was, a big one for Fairfield Ludlow. Inside 14 minutes, now they have an opportunity. Oh, what a tackle. They still have a fun little shot. What a move, just past the reach of the Ward goaltender, Gannat. It should be Ward ball. And it looks like it is. Inside 13 and a half to play. We're in the first half. We're scoreless between Ludlow and Ward. Ludlow trying to avoid a clearance for the Mustangs here, who just had a couple of good set pieces, good opportunities. Headed toward the net. Oh, what a stop by Nat. He's been great in goal tonight. That could have been dangerous if he let that play in front of him. We're definitely picking up the pace here as we approach the end of this first half. Both of these teams, they felt each other out. Now it's time for a real attack. And if there's one thing Ludlow has right now, it's speed. They can outrun the Mustangs all night. That should go through. Yes, it will. 12 minutes left in the first. Mustangs and Falcons. And what a game it has been. No scoring to this point, but if you're looking for offense, there's been plenty of action, plenty of opportunities. There's that physicality we talked about earlier on the far side. 11 and a half to play in the first. Mm -hmm. 
11-10 remaining. This is a big opportunity for the Falcons. Eleven minutes remaining in the first half. Forward toward the net, back out. You can hear the cowbells. The noisemakers are in full flinch tonight. Another save by Nat, who's made a couple good ones tonight. In the air, down to about ten and a half to play. Pushed off the ball was Maximilio Jaramillo. Near side and Ludlow comes in. A very big stop by the Falcons. And Chris Preed. Nine fifteen remaining in the first. We're inside 10 minutes, and Ludlow still yet to muster up a goal. Neither squad has. Far side. Cleared back out. It's been back and forth. Neither side has really been able to get the upper hand so far. Near side, Jaramillo, Correa. <laughs> Sent toward net, but a little too strong. Subs at 8.15. Beautiful night for soccer. It was a beautiful day earlier. Definitely feels like an October night in New England. On the near side, a whistle comes. Jaramillo got knocked down a little bit, but he's up and well. Seven twenty left, and we're into the Ward offensive zone. Jaramillo, he's been the offensive mastermind tonight. Beautiful move, but he can't get out of that double team. He's knocked to the ground. Nesso with a chance to clear. He does, just barely. Good attack from Crawford. He's the offensive mastermind for Ludlow. Maybe Jaramillo's counterpart. 6.50 left in the first. Six twenty-three remain in the first. Still no score. Although we've definitely seen the offensive opportunities on both ends.
or trying to maybe put together another possession or two before this half ends. That ball still moving on the turf. Good slide. Johan Moon able to clear it out as we approach the five minute mark in the first. Kuhn has it. Around midfield, 425 left in the first. All right, so Connor's gonna try to lead the offensive charge as we wind things down in the first. Good move by Marillette. Four minute mark. Boone. Put toward the net. Oh, an opportunity. A slide a challenge that was missed. It kind of held up Matt Minosi, the sophomore who would have had a very good chance to score there and put Put it in the back of the net, but he was held up by the challenge. We're inside three and a half now, left in the first half. Fairfield Ludlow and Fairfield Ward, what a dandy this has been. Most certainly has lived up to its hype. Another whistle. This time it will stay with Fairfield Ward. Two fifty left in the first half in our FSN game of the week. Fairfield Ludlow and Fairfield Ward. First side, Moon giving chase. Handled by Connor Shea in the backfield. Cleared away by Gant. Forward, a chase and a clear from Connor. That's Patrick Connor, the older brother. He's able to put it out. The offensive fire still not extinguished from Fairfield Ward. They have an opportunity to put one on the board late. We saw that in the first game. The Mustangs put one on late in the first half, early in the second half, and that was all it was, 2-0 win for Fairfield Ward Field Hockey. A minute 40 left in the first half. Our FSN Game of the Week presented by Colony Grill. It's Ludlow and Ward in soccer and we'll have a lot of Ludlow Ward if you want Ludlow Ward, we will bring you Ludlow Ward because that's basically most of the matchups this fall sports season. One minute remains in this first half. Toward the net, Gant's got a save. 50 seconds left in the first quarter. Or first half, I should say. Oh, 
in the air. Chase down the near side. Bradman kept it in. He's going to get an opportunity. They got to move inside. 30 seconds left. Will it be Nestle? No, it's Connor who sprints toward it. Down to 20 seconds as he goes to throw. Toward the net. In front. A collision. And it's going to be Ward possession. 6.3 to go. And Gant is hurt. A little over six seconds remain. All they can do is really clear it. Gant after the collision. Put it toward net, but not much there. So we go to half. A lot of offense. A lot to unpack. And we are scoreless. Nil-nil as we go to halftime at our FSN Game of the Week. Presented by Colony Grill.
The FSN Game of the Week is presented by Colony Grill Pizza. And we're so glad to have them as a sponsor for the second year in a row. We may be doing some Team of the Week stuff in the very near future, so be on the lookout for that. It is a pleasure to have you with us as we get set for second half action in FCAC Boys Soccer. This is a marquee matchup. Two teams that played very, very well in the first half, about an hour into this thing. Through 40 minutes, we are tied. And we are most definitely looking forward to 40 more minutes of Fairfield Ludlow and Fairfield Ward. This should, this should be fun, to say the least. The Falcons started in the first half with possession, so all the fitting, the Mustangs start the second half with the ball. One goes into place, Ward's into place. Let's do it. Falcons and Mustangs from Taft Field. And we're back underway with the Falcons and the Mustangs played off to the near side and it goes out. Ludlow's moving from right to left in the blues. Ward is in the whites, moving from left to right. So the Falcons will have possession. And a Patrick Cotter free. Chipped up around midfield. Ludlow keeps it in their offensive half. Down that far sideline. There's James Radman. He's been a key part of this team. Very much like Crawford. Been with him since the beginning. Ludlow's going to get a set piece here. Thirty-eight and a half to play, second half. Well, it went near the goal, but this time a whistle was called before that, so we'll do it again. That looks like Allen Robinson, who's over there on the far side, a little difficult to see. But a Robinson free kick. Approaching 38 minutes left of the second half. It's poked away. Ludlow's going to maintain possession. Cotter. Another throw, this one coming close to the net. It's around and loose, and back out. 37 and a half to play in the second half. The scoreboard says quarter, and that's always why I mix it up. 37, 20 left. Scoreless. Another big throw, this is poked away. What a tremendous couple of stops by Gant. He's had his work cut out for him in net tonight with a Ludlow offense that has continued to press against him, but he's held his own.
free for the Falcons. Inside 36 and a half to go. Radman will kick it. And the Ward net, uh, Ward Wall rather, is able to block it. So, it'll be another set piece. The third in as many tries for Fairfield Ludlow. Close, but no cigar, it goes out. And this time, Ward's gonna maintain possession. So approaching a little over half an hour left in the second half. Off to the far side. Ludlow's gonna get it back. No, Ward maintains possession. On the near side, trying to cook something up toward the net. Headed away, Connor. Clears it off and into the stands. Inside 35 minutes remain. Loya was headed to save it, but it was blocked out of bounds instead. So this is a big, big opportunity for Ward. They're going to get a set piece. 34-19 remain in the second half. Scoreless so far. And you can hear Coach O'Hara. He knows how big of a deal this is. He knows how big one goal could be in a game like this. Taken on the near side by Jara toward the net. Still loose. Ludlow's going to clear this thing. Over a half an hour left in the second half. Our FSN game of the week, second half. The primetime portion of it. I'm Adam Blank, a pleasure to have you with us. Far side, big offensive chance. Connor could put it on the net, nah, no. His kick is blocked, but it will remain Ludlow possession. Long throw toward the net. Still loose. Cleared out. Connor, not even close.
Near side. Marilette wins the battle. Certainly looked like he did at least. Again, not the biggest bunch. But certainly a, a scrappy group that Ludlow has managed to put out this season. Thirty twenty-eight left, so just over half an hour. Thirty forty-nine remaining, and a little bit of a injury being helped off the fields. It is number seven, Alexander Correa, and we certainly hope he's all right. He was such an integral part to this team. Who knows, maybe he could have gotten the, uh, the lead for Fairfield Ward. So we're back underway. What a good move on the near side by Leonardo Nascimento. It goes out. Beg your pardon, that was number 11, Malik Thomas. Just over a half an hour left. Twenty-nine twenty remain, and this is a big opportunity for Fairfield Ludlow. Connor, another whistle. Ludlow's had a lot of those really good chances, but nothing has come of it. And it's been a disappointment so far that the offense, as good as they've been, is yet to put one through. And you know, as soon as they do, two, three more will follow. Twenty-eight nineteen left. No score. Game of the week. Ludlow and Ward in boys soccer.
Kind of a quiet and slow start to this half. And believe it or not, we're almost midway through it. Forward and past everybody. So Loy is going to kick it away, and Ludlow's going to get another chance to go on offense. Out on that far side right near the Ludlow bench. It is going to be Fairfield Ludlow ball. Headed around. Twenty six ten remaining. Ludlow still looking for a goal. Ward still looking for a goal. It's been a much slower start to this half than we saw in the first. Good chance. Forward. Saved. Oh, that could have been it. Radman could have had his first goal of the season. In his senior night bio for those that were watching he said he wants to pass 11 goals that he had last season he had 11 he wants to get at least 11 although it's going to be tough to do in the shortened season but if anybody can do it it is James Radman Marillette's going to throw it in near side. Approaching 24 minutes remaining in this game. It's been a quiet start to the second half after a very offensive first. Poked around at midfield. Up on the far side. Radman, a chance. There was a whistle. And it's likely offsides, which it is. Oh boy, if he had gotten a chance to play that through, what could have happened. Robinson had it. He had a chance to score. Pushed up into Ludlow's offensive territory. Near side. Kuhn is on the ground. Now Ward a chance. Cleared away. The one thing Ward has not gotten a lot of this half is offense. Ludlow's had most of the offensive opportunities. Left it. Right there for somebody to tee up, but Loya came to save it first.
collision on the near side. Paul will stay with Ludlow. One twenty left in the second half. It's Ludlow 0, Ward 0 on the Falcon Sports Network. Back with you next week. Pull that schedule up right now. Far side, sent up. It goes out, we're approaching the 20 minute mark and we are scoreless. This is gonna come down to a fantastic finish. Inside 20 minutes remaining, and this crowd's getting restless. They saw some great offense in the first half. Not only do they want that, they want a goal. And you can't blame them. Danbury and Staples, a couple of blue bloods in FCAC boys soccer, tied one to one. What a great game there. Inside 18 and a half. Scoreless in our game of the week. This has been a tremendous game. Defense in the second half, offense in the first half, whatever you like about soccer, this is what you're gonna get. Near side. It does go out. Scoreless in the 60th. Seventeen, seventeen left in the second half. Boy, do we have a good game. Good chance to the near side it goes and sliding into save was Marillette. Who knows, that could have 
Gotten Ludlow either the tie or the win, depending on how things go. Most likely stopped a ward goal. Sixteen thirty-five left. First game of the season for both of these teams. It's also senior night for Ludlow Boys Soccer. I was talking with the AD Todd Parnas earlier. He said, well, we don't want to speculate, but we had to do it this early because we otherwise may not get a senior night. And it's completely fair. Chipped forward and it was way off target. Off the foot of Evan Defonce. About 16 minutes left. 16 minutes for one of these two teams to break forward. Or to break through, rather. Robinson chased. Ward's got it back. Robinson's got it back, and it goes out. It will be Ludlow Ball. Marillette will throw. Goes out, we'll go to Fairfield Ward. Played up, off the foot of Robinson, out. Should be Ward ball, and it is. Our next game of the week, we will be with you on the 15th. I gotta double check here for a second. That is next Thursday. So a week from Thursday, we will be with you. 4.30 kickoff right here, Fairfield Ludlow, Fairfield Ward in girls soccer. We hope to be with you on Friday night for Ludlow and Trouble football, seven on seven. And we hope to be with you on Monday for Ludlow and Ward, seven on seven football. Girls soccer is our next game of the week, and we're certainly looking forward to that very promising group that Coach Nikach has. Approaching 14 minutes left in this second half. And our FSN game of the week presented by Colony Grill. Again, two games for boys soccer, two games for girls soccer, two games for field hockey. So everybody gets a pair. Six games in total. Through the next however many weeks. And then of course we'll have playoffs. Each team does get two quote unquote playoff experience games. Which means it's really not a state tournament which really stinks. No word on an FCAC tournament but highly unlikely at this point. In the air. What a nasty hit from Callum Crawford. He took out Ryan Barretts. Juju just went flat on his back. Now Ward gets an opportunity. 13 minute mark in the second half. We are scoreless on the Falcon Sports Network in our game of the week. We certainly hope to be with you for the rest of the school year. Of course, once we get the whole football debacle settled, the next big thing will be basketball and hockey. Um, mostly basketball because you got to figure out if you're going to let the kids play basketball. And I have a feeling that will turn into another version of football where it's going to take a little bit to make the decision. They're not going to have a straightforward decision right away. Sent toward the net. Back out. Put back on net. It's going to go through the uprights. 12-19 remaining in the second half. No score. Two very defensively oriented teams here in the second half, although in the first half it was all about offense, offense, offense.
Marillette forward. Got it again. Crawford. It's going to go out. It should be Ludlow Ball. It is Ward Ball. 11.38 to play. Ward's threatened so far in these last few minutes. They've had a very good chance here to score some goals. Good chance for Ludlow. But Ward's able to keep it away. Another iffy play from Callum Crawford defensively. 10.55 remain. Ward free kick to get it back in. We're inside 11 minutes left. Coming right down to the wire in our FSN game of the week. It rolls out. Did Ludlow retain possession? Yes, they did. Ten thirteen left. Second half. Ludlow, Ward, our game of the week. And we're scoreless. It's been a tremendous game so far. There's a long shot. Loya had no chance at it, but it sails over the net. We're now officially inside 10 minutes. This is a big set piece. Head on net. Oh, what a save. Loya jumps to grab it. It was high. He had to really get off the ground, but he does and keeps it scoreless. Inside nine minutes to play. <laughs> Approaching eight and a half to play. Second half. This game coming right down to the wire. First of a few they'll play. All offense in the first half, although, again, the scoreboard would not show it. And all defense here in the second half. <laughs> Approaching eight minutes now. In front, shot, headed toward the net and wide. Seven and a half to play. Ward starting to bring on the offense. Put forward, but a little too much of a touch inside seven minutes. 
We will end in a tie if need be. And what a anticlimactic finish that would be. The speed that we've seen Ludlow play at, the speed we've seen Ward play at, if this thing, if this thing ended in a tie. Good chance for Ward. No, it's cleared away. Six and a half left. Another chance. Shot headed toward the net to save by Loya. Scoots off to the near side and saves it. Another big save as time winds down to the second half. Six oh five left. Cleared up and away. Ludlow trying to get one possession. Ward trying to get a couple. Good chance. Forward, saved by Loya. That's the third shot in the last bunch of minutes he's had to fend off, and he certainly does. Credit to Michael Loya, he's been very good in the goal tonight. Inside five and a half to play, we're scoreless. Five oh six toward the net. Another save. That's the fourth. <laughs> Marillet inside five to play. Radman lost control. Is that the last possession that Ludlow gets? We're going to find out. Probably not. Sent forward. Big chase. Loya clears. Another tough ball that he's able to fend off. Sent toward the net. And another save. Feels like we're calling Loya's name more than anybody else, but he deserves it. Last six minutes or so, he's had to fend off a lot. Four minutes remain in this game, a rivalry game, and it's scoreless. Town bragging rights, the Swedish Cup is on the line. Forward, Radman, offsides. Approaching three and a half to play. And boy, would that have been a tremendous opportunity for James Radman to get on the scorecard this season if he had been able to put it in the back of the net, but he was offsides. Three and a half left in the second. On the far side. Run up. Radman. Knocked, all, knocked around. Pushed forward. Inside three minutes remain in the second half. Ludlow zero, Ward zero. Clock will be stopped at 2.42. An injury for Fairfield Ward gives both these teams a chance to gear up for the final two minutes and 42 seconds of what promises to be a dandy finish. There's going to be a free kick. Our wonderful athletic trainer, Sidney Junkins, is out to to the player and now Justin Otavio the Fairfield Ward coach is out as well <laughs> 
He's been led off the field. Second player that Ward has lost tonight. So this is a big one. Two minutes, 42 seconds remaining in this game. Ludlow zero and Ward zero. We saw Loya make some tremendous saves and now it's Nat's turn to make some big saves. Waiting for the whistle. Inside three minutes to play, our game of the week and boy has it been a good one. Zero, no, nil, nil. Here in the second half. Too high. Very anticlimactic finish there. Way too high. And so we're down to inside two and a half. Cleared up. Chipped around. If someone's going to score a goal, it's probably going to be Radman. One of the leaders on this team. Chance to do just that. Lead. Marillette. Down with a minute 40 left. They got to move. Ludlow's going to probably get one or two more chances to score here, and then that's it. Not a goal in sight. Goose eggs on the scoreboard. Both of these goalies pitching shutouts, and they should be proud of themselves for it. Connor from the 40-yard line. To the near side. Marillac got ahead on it. Ward's going to get the ball, a minute eight to play. So we're approaching 60 seconds remaining in this game. No score. Ward a chance to put on a late goal. The tension building. Even without both of these student sections, you can just feel it in the air. 53 seconds left. Ludlow's going to get one more chance. They got about 50 seconds to march down the field and score a goal. Cleared away. Another boot to it, couple of big kicks. Some physicality from Ludlow, we're down to half a minute. It skips out, maybe it's Ward's chance. 23 seconds. Ludlow's gonna take their time to get this ball though. And that's just about it, 15 left on the clock. Unless they're going to score it from midfield, that's about it. Played around, and that's going to do it. The first game of the season, and neither team has scored a goal. Not a bad performance from either end, though. Scoreless in the season opener. That basically does it. We're back either Friday or Monday with 7-on-7 seven seven football. And our game of the week next week is Thursday, 4.30. Ludlow and Ward in girls soccer. So the Swedish Cup remains in Ward's possession because they have it after the FCAC quarterfinal win last year. These two teams will get a chance to play one more time. And that's all I got. I've been here for too long. <laughs> We'll see it. We'll see it at the end of this week, early next week. We'll see it for the FSN game of the week. But no score, a tie. The most soccer of finishes. Ludlow zero, Ward zero. Credit to the Mustangs. Credit to the Falcons. They both played terrific tonight. We will see you on Friday for seven on seven football. We'll see you on Monday for seven on seven football. And we'll see you next Thursday for another edition of the FSN Game of the Week. For everybody here at FSN, I'm Aiden Blank. Have a great rest of your Monday night.